Well, hello, hello, hello. How are you doing today? Welcome, welcome, welcome to Divine Warrior to uh, Tarot. You know, I'm having trouble with the um, YouTube. I don't know if it's changed or my computer changed. But anyway, I guess I'm doing this live, which is all right with me because I, I like it. So this is actually for Pisces. Um, for the week of 720 to 726. So hopefully um, I've got this up right and going right. And I think I'm actually having problems because I did a boo-boo. I'm brand new to YouTube, less than six months. And so I actually set it up wrong. And my daughter's been helping me try to get it all straightened out. So um, welcome, welcome. For those that are your brand new... <laughs> I'm sorry you came into sort of a funky type of uh, reading, but I'm Patty Hall, and I'm an empath that actually does intuitive readings as well as just intuitive. I don't have to use cards um, because I'm extremely intuitive, but I enjoy doing cards, and it also is another way for um, the divine to be able to come through. And so we are going to do a, a reading, tarot reading for you from... July 20 to 26. So you just sort of caught me off guard here because I was waiting for me to hit go live chat. <laughs> so apparently I am live. Anyway, welcome. So for those of you brand new, um, there is a short video on my page that tells you how I do my readings because they're not the same as everybody else's, but um, they're fun. They're interesting. They're curious. Um, so go ahead and go on there. There's the information down below for that. And if you're returning, thank you. Um, if you can do this now so we don't have to do it later and if you end up logging off and forget go ahead share like and subscribe and I would love that since I am new trying to learn how to figure this out um, and get this all done I do have like 127 videos out there um, on my page for uh, divine um Divine Warrior Intuitive. I have two channels. That's why I sort of get stuck. I have Get Balance 2020 and then I have this one because I'm a, a life coach. So anyway, let's get you started because this is what you're here for. And I don't like to do long introductions. So we're doing um, 20 through the 26th of July. The Oracle cards are going to give you the vibrations for the next week. And they're also going to give us the energies, what are going on. It's up to you what your decisions and your choices are next week of what happens to you, how the divine works, and for the next week's vibrations and energies. So let's go. Let's see what the divine has to say today, who they send through, who he sends through, and all that good stuff. So let me just make sure that I've got this going straight. I am, and here we go. So if you can share with me what you would like me to share with the Pisces for next week. I would appreciate that. Make it easy on me because I've been going struggling here with this silly computer. Um, I just wish I was young. Like you, you guys out there are so tech savvy. My daughter can get on there and blip, 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 and it's all done. And I'm sitting there back at square one trying to figure it out. Anyway, that's her skill. That's her ability. So hopefully she can get my mess cleaned up. All righty. What is the vibration and the energy for next week? I do these. I, I try to get them um, close to the end of the week as I can because um, the vibrations change, especially if something. Vibrations change every day anyway, um, every hour, every minute, depending on what's going on, how you make your decisions. If you make your decisions through the earth, through the spirit, however you do your decisions. So, it all just depends, and that's why a uh, reading can happen and change minute to minute. So, alrighty, let's see where we go. Oh, cleaning house. Who's cleaning house? That could mean a lot of things. That could be cleaning house spiritually, emotionally, earthly, physically. Could be cleaning house all kinds of ways. So, somebody's cleaning house. Ooh, okay. Throwing cards out already at me. Oh, cleaning house because you got so many opportunities or things thrown at you. You got lots of fishing poles in the water. 
You're like, what is she mean by that? Haven't you ever heard me do that yet? I always say, because I was taught this when I was a younger, because I used to have, have so many ideas. So I'm a Virgo, so but I have so many ideas. I would, my girlfriend would say, you've got so many fishing poles in the water that you're going to be down here and that fishing pole down there is going to bite and you're going to run down there and that fish is off the pole. And then that fishing pole and you're down here and you're so busy trying to catch the fishing poles. If you would have just had one in the water, you would have been able to catch all the fish. <laughs> So that's what this means. We're sort of given a lot of things to um, decide on or do or choose. Um, and it's to us to stay focused on this one, because if we stay focused in that center, that's the divine working, because that's where everything of good is going to come to you. Not saying that we won't have rough times, because we always do have rough times. Yeah, the sun, creativity, fresh, raw, new, um, and divine again. This is something that's from your spirit, from your heart, um, that way there. So let's see what it is. What are we cleaning house? Oh, okay. So somebody's got some emotional cleaning is what I heard. So the emotional cleaning, uh, you know, matters of the heart, matters of how you're doing things. Um, if it's working for you, if it's not working, okay, thank you. Um, if it's working for you, if it's not working for you, that kind of thing, that's not. So you want to be able to be sure of how you're making your decisions, where you're making those decisions from. Yeah. Because, uh, and don't, now I pulled the devil card, but we'll come back to this. But um, that's not a bad thing. That's not a bad thing is, is what I would, because where my decisions are, remember I was talking about where those decisions are coming from. And this card pops out. That's what Divine is talking about. Where are you making your decisions from? And are you making them from an earthly place? Because that's where, if you believe in the devil, that's where the devil lays. Because if that's... If you read the Bible, the Bible says that the devil's land is the earth. And so he has rule of the earth. And um, earth is different than a, a spiritual decision. Spiritual decision is towards your calling and your purpose. So that's um, going to be that there. So, um, yeah, where are you making your decisions from? Because that's part of cleaning house. So like in my, if you look um, down below, I also, like I said, I have Get Balanced 2020. Um, we talk about that in um, in our mindfulness because a lot of our, our decisions and choices that we make that get us into trouble are actually from our childhood and how we were trained, how we, we were taught, how we were, our subconscious was formed to our conscious, those kind of things. And I point back there because that's where it should stay but we don't always allow that so when the devil gets in there the devil allows us to keep thinking about our past thinking about the negative allowing this to our our low vibrations to stay low low energies to stay low and then that creates not only turmoil for us uh, physically turmoil for us emotionally turmoil for us spiritually sometimes you'll hear somebody say i'm in a spiritual battle that's what we're talking about. It, it creates a, also a, it creates a divide. It doesn't create a unity. It creates a divide. And that's what the devil wants. Because if you believe in the devil, the devil is here to destroy, um, divide and and um, devour, basically. So it, it, he, he's all about division and destroying things. And, and that's what makes him happy, if you believe in that. Now, if you believe in the universe, then you believe in, you know, vibrations of being positive or negative vibrations, those kind of things, energies. Um, if you believe in the yin and yang, same thing, kind of thing. Um, if you believe in, um, a lot of people believe in love and fear. Uh, if you believe in reincarnation and those kind of things, what we make our decisions out of. So it's many things on how you yourself make your decisions and choices. All right. So let's see. This is, uh, I think this here um, has to be a fight between emotional, which is earthly and um, spiritual. We got a spiritual battle going here. 
So this week is to stay focused on why, thank you, why you're making the decisions and choices that um, you are making because you want to start noticing where you're making all these choices from. And is it working for you? If it's not working for you, then maybe to look at a new way of doing things, more productive, more um, forward focused. Um, but a lot of this has to do with the way you've been trained. And that's why I have my coaching, um, my life balance coaching. Yeah, so see, there is some, um, but this is a good thing. This is a good card. So the King of Cups is a really a good card while you're going through this house cleaning because yours going to stay calm. This week, that's your goal. Stay calm. No road rage, no any of that stuff. Because if you look around the card, is there's a little storm going on around him, but he's just sitting there really cool and chill while he's going through it all. He's holding the King of Cups, which is the desires of the heart, the heart matter. Um, and there's going to be some movement and communication really fast. So with this, um, you actually are in a good place for change. I see change here. So there is a good place for change, but um, somebody else earthly is bucking you. So this is probably somebody um, is not happy with what you're doing or how you're doing it or whatever. Just remember, this is your journey, not their journey. They can be unhappy, but this is your journey. This is your forward movement. This is everything that is for you. Okay. Not anybody else. You. <laughs> My daughter thinks I'm in that case. Anyway, so this is um, this is all about a spiritual battle, earthly battle, uh, and you need to be focusing in on what is it that is going to bring you um, purpose, calling. What is going to bring you happy? Well, I don't want to say happiness. Happiness is external. We want joy. Joy is inside our hearts, inside our spirit. Um, and I sometimes ask people, do you understand what the difference is? And they're like, yeah. And then I ask them and they don't. So there is a difference. Ex uh, joy is um, internal and, and happiness is external. So happiness can come and go like fart in the wind. I mean, you can love something one day and not like it the next. And you can have your eyes on something and get it. And then later you're bored with it. That's an external thing. But joy is when something makes you feel good and that can last a lifetime. So we have the King of Pentacles. Very strong, very sturdy, very smart. Um, again, we have the King of Pentacles and we have the King of Cups. Again, material versus heart. This is more of possessions. The king of cups is more of the heart. Again, another spiritual uh, earth and emotional battle. So remember as you go through this that you look at... Um, you look at your, yourself from a spiritual level. That's the best way to make decisions. How you know you how you know you're on the right track. Um, basically, all you have to do is ask your intuition, ask your heart, which feels. I'll retract that because it's not about feeling. What seems to be right? What does divine want you to do? Which way to go? And then when you choose that way. You're like, yeah, this feels right. This is right. That's where when the feeling comes in is you made a choice and it's right. Now, if you make a choice from earth and you're like, oh, yeah, yeah, I want to do that. I really, I really, really, really want that. I want to do that. And you do it and you're like, mm, something's sort of off. Then you know you're making the wrong decision. You need you. It's allowed in life to go ahead and backtrack and then do that. If you haven't signed any papers on anything, even when you sign papers, there's way to get out. I've been a business owner for so many years. There's ways to get out of anything, really. There really is. So those are the things that you are battling right there, Mr. Sir or Mr. Miss or Miss and Miss out there. <laughs> Oh, geez. I'm drinking iced coffee. I lived in Japan and I drink iced coffee and our, their iced coffee is not like our iced coffee here in the States. So it's got a lot of caffeine. So I'm like, yeah. Anyway, 
Is there anything else? Well, okay. How's this battle going to turn out? What is for? Let me help them out a little bit. Okay, Temperance. Again, I can't make this up, everyone. I can't. So we're talking about Temperance. We're talking about earth versus spirit, spirit versus earth, balance. Okay, thank you. So that's what they just said. Your balance is off between earth and spirit. That's what they said. That's not from me. Don't come to me. So you got to get your house in balance. This is where the cleaning comes in, getting it in balance. It's never going to be 100%. And they're like, what do we mean balance? Well, you're, if you look down, your mind, your spirit, your body. Are you taking care of your body? Are you actually growing with your mindset into a positive manner? Is your spirit, are you listening to your spirit? Are you um, moving forward with your spirit? Or are you fighting the spirit? And you're like... You know, and that's where the balance comes in. I really sort of see sometimes why Divine had me start Get Balance 2020. Ah, so we have the uh, Knight of Wands. Again, communication. Moving forward. He is due diligent to move forward and quickly and move in. So something this week is actually going to... Um, something moving in. Or maybe it's coming from last week. And um, here, I'm going to show you this here in a second. Hopefully people are here. If you are still here, go ahead and like, share, subscribe, please. Or even just subscribe. That would help out my page. But let me show you what you've got going on here. And it's sort of funky. I mean, I, you can't see it very well. But you start out with all these opportunities here. You've got the sun, which is fresh and new. And these, this here is a fresh and new opportunities. But then you got the little dig, little devil in the center there. He's got creating some some struggles emotionally and with your spirit. And there's a communication coming on. And the verification of all this, you got Tempress, you got Earth. The King of Pentacles, you've got a um, a uh, Knight of Wands that really is trying to come in and say, hey, you better get this taken care of, whatever this is, to get this house clean. So, yeah, so this is a really dynamic week. You've got some turmoil in this week, but it's not maybe turmoil with somebody else. It could be more turmoil with you. Fighting yourself. Sometimes we're our own worst enemies. So that's what I would ask you. Is this of you or is this of you to somebody else or somebody else to you that this is going on, that you're seeing maybe a struggle going on this week? Now, at the end of the week, it doesn't show us how it's going to end. That's up to you. That's your journey and your story. And I would love to hear your comments, how it turns out. But the thing is, at the end of the week, you actually should know which way you went. If you were really paying attention, if you are really a little bit confused about earth and spirit, go back and listen to this again. They're not that long or even skip through it through the parts, the beginning you don't need, but go back through and listen to it again because there is so much information here. It's like mind boggling. Even for me, I'm hearing it, hearing it. But the thing is you have to make sure that your decisions are based on spirit. Make, make sure you're based, you're based on spirit. Where's the other part? Okay, so that would be your um, reading for the week of 20 to the 26. Again, I thank all the new people. I am so sorry I came in sort of like really cattywampus. It sort of threw my vibrations off for a second, but all is good. And um, we will see you again next week. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And if you like um, to learn more about coaching, Get Balanced 2020 has a website. and You can learn about all the stuff that I do. Videos, I think there's 70 videos on there now that are free about how to change, transform your mind to a positive mindset, also your spirit, how to grow that, and about nutrition and fitness, because that's my degree. I will talk to you next week. Take care.